Um, uh, today again we are here again on the same free enlightenment program organized by the PAM, which is a research and promoters of African medicinal plant. They have organized this program for us to come out to reintroduce nature to an African man because we are African. It's our culture, it's our heritage as an African man. So today we are here again on this same program. We're talking about this plant, it's a common plant. We call it a boundary tree. You look at the plant here because they use it to demarcate boundary. You can see this level have demarcated boundary with its own. And then you go around the other side or the other side of the farm, you see the other neighbor demarcate boundary with its own. That's why we call it a boundary tree. Or the English name is called a bee knot plant. The bee knot plant, if you look at the plant carefully, it's one amazing plant. It bears seeds like this one. Look at the seeds here. Very beautiful seeds. But botanically, we call it Jactopha cocos. That is a botanical name. This plant, you see, handles so many problems. Maybe somebody with stomach ulcer. We are going to talk about stomach ulcer today. With the same plant, we are going to talk about. Uh, the roots for urinary tract infection because the plant, the leaves are medicinal, the seeds are medicinal, the back of the plant are medicinal, and the roots are medicinal. So, because of the amazing benefit the plant contains, it contains antibacterial properties, anti inflammatory properties, and anti fungi properties. And look at the plant, it's so beautiful. Look at here, it's growing just around. And in the dry season, you can look at the plant in the dry season, it will still be fresh. And you can see other plants have dried off in the dry season. You can see them, they have dried off. But this plant in the dry season, it will be fresh. In the rainy season, it will be more fresher. So look at the plant I am talking about today. It's a very, very common plant. It's called a bee nut plant. Botanically, we call it Jactopha cocos. Look at this plant. If somebody complains of ulcer, you want to help that person treat the ulcer. Maybe your mom, your dad, that will be the first phase of the plant. You want to treat ulcer at home, you are going to just get the plant, you get the green flesh, the chlorophyll section from the plant, the way I am getting my own now. Pee out the outer layer. If somebody complains of stomach ulcer from the tree, just get the branches, you get the outer layer. Maybe, and you know, ulcer is caused by gastric. Gastric is caused by too much of hydrochloric acid that causes inflammation at the intestinal wall. Starvation can cause ulcer. Citrate acid can cause ulcer. Anger as well can cause ulcer. So see what you're going to do before you must be treated of ulcer. Once you get the back of this plant now, see what you're going to do. Just get the outer layer. You want to treat ulcer, gastric ulcer, stomach ulcer, 10 years, 15 years, you have been battling with ulcer, but you know a bee. And if you know this plant the way I know it, maybe you are doing sanitation and you by mistakenly injure yourself, blood is coming out from the plant. Once you walk from the womb, once you come to this plant, you touch it in this formula, you will see the white water. It will come out from the plant. If you pick up the water, you add to that wound, it will stop the blood not to come. Then heal the wound faster. If this liquid you see coming out from this plant can heal external wound, definitely it can heal internal wound. Because stomach ulcer happens to be an internal wound. So see how you are going to treat the ulcer back at home. Maybe your mom, maybe your dad complain of ulcer. All the time you have been spending money to treat ulcer, but to no avail. See what you are going to do with the back of the bee nut plant. Botanically, we call it Jactopha, which is Jactopha cocos. Maybe a neighbor has been battering with ulcer, but to no avail. See what they're going to do with the bark from the plant. If you can get the bark from the plant now, a good quantity from the plant, and they, at least it should be five centimeters and then wide like this. This one is, I want to use this one for illustration. That is why this one is not up to five centimeters. If you can get the plant now, see what they're going to do when you get home. Maybe your mom has been battling with ulcer. Then you pick up your water, then you wash the plant in this formula. When you wash it now, this plant you see contains vitamin C and vitamin B. You need vitamin A to act together in order to treat ulcer. What are the common vitamin A do we have around? We have cabbage. That is vitamin A. We have carrot, that is vitamin A. We have cucumber, we have palm oil, we have salt. You can use any of them, but a pinch of cucumber, a pinch of salt. You add that together with the back, the green flesh from this plant, you are going to chew it. One. Look at the plant. I'm going to chew it up the way I am chewing my own. Make sure you chew it very well. 
The water that the plant produces, then you swallow the water. When the plant becomes tasteless in your mouth, you have to treat maybe with carrot, maybe with cabbage, maybe with cucumber, maybe with palm oil, maybe with salt, kitchen salt, the local one. If you can chew it very well, together with the salt, after chewing the plant, if I were you, that I have the ulcer, I will chew it and swallow everything. But you can still bring out the chaff. But me, we'll show you. Okay, you drink water, but not cold water. You drink water down. After 30 minutes, you can eat. In the morning, just get the back from the plant, you chew it and drink water. In the evening, get the same back from the plant, you chew it and drink water. To this plan morning night morning night morning night 14 days which is two weeks before 14 days also become a history but you have to double show of the treatment that is why you have to chew it for 14 days two weeks also become a history look at the plan it's growing behind your home we are coming up again we'll talk about the seed for warm anybody with excess warm you want to deworm yourself look at the seed and uh, maybe pink warm maybe round warm maybe tape warm you want to bring out warm we are going to talk about the seed from the plant. Look at the dry seed here. This one is uh, about to dry. This one is already a dry one. The same seed you see here, we are using it with onion and natural honey to take care of worm. The same seed you see here, we are using it together with shea butter and olive oil to take care of stretch mark. Anybody with stretch mark. In the other videos, we'll be coming up to talk about stretch mark with a seed from the plant. And then the other video will be coming out to talk about the same seed for warm. This one will not kill warm. This one it will not grant warm. You write on your door, warm festival. You still warm out. And according to World Health Organization standard, warm medicine is acquired to take it every after three months. But I want to advise, if you are watching this video, kindly subscribe to our channel. And I want to ask you a question. Do you know belt? Belt. The bell, the ring. Make sure you touch the bell notification anytime we drop a video. Thank you for watching. This is the plant we were talking about, so amazing plant, boundary tree, or you call it a bee knot plant. That is a plant you see, it's very, very beautiful and amazing plant, and you can hear my music in the background, so cultural music, so traditional music as an African one.